What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We're gonna do a home abdominal workout which should take you anywhere between eight to 10 minutes or longer depending on how long or how many times you wanna cycle through this routine. You can do this routine non-stop, all the exercises all the way through, no break, or you can take little breaks in between, okay? Completely dependent upon your level of experience. You shouldn't need any equipment apart from just an ab wheel. So if you wanna get one, it ain't too expensive, but it'll definitely help you guys out to help build your core strength and definition. Let's go. So we're gonna do two separate routines with four exercises each. Now, I would probably say the ab rollout is gonna be one of the most challenging ones to do, so we'll get that one out of the way first. Obviously, some people will be able to do these no problem, other people are really gonna struggle massively, so just do what you can. If you do struggle to do this exercise, just do a limited range of motion. There's no need to go all the way down to the ground. That is for the people who have a stronger core and the ability to pull themselves back up. So maybe if you can only do five or six reps, that's fine, just leave it at that. But hopefully over time you should get stronger and you should be able to perform the ab rollout the way I'm performing it here. Then we're gonna move on to a form of a leg raise. I would ideally like you to do this holding onto something firm in place just to give yourself a bit of stability. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do a fixed range of motion. You're not gonna come all the way down to the ground because I don't want you to over-engage your hip flexors and create a little bit of momentum, okay? So I wanna try and keep more tension on the abs. And as you bring your legs up, I just want you to very gently thrust up just to try and get a little bit more lower ab engagement when you're doing this movement. So once you've done around 10 to 12 repetitions, what we're gonna do is transition into just a leg raise without the hip thrust, okay? So this is a little bit easier, but because you're gonna be quite fatigued from doing the exercise before that, this is still gonna be quite hard, okay? So again, we're just trying to keep the tension on the abs as much as possible. Don't bring the legs too far down, squeeze at the top of the movement. When it comes to breathing, as I've mentioned many times before, exhale at the peak contraction and then breathe in on the way down. Then we're gonna switch over. Ideally, I want your legs on an elevated surface and we're gonna do a crunch. Since this is the fourth exercise in a row, your abs are gonna be fatigued. So really try not to try and lift yourself up using your neck or your head. Okay, all we wanna try and do here is just exhale and squeeze your core. So don't worry if most of your torso still remains on the ground, okay? You can see here, I'm still contracting my abdominals sufficiently and rest. Once you've got your breath back, we're gonna start the next routine with another form of a leg raise, but we're doing a cross-legged variation, so there's gonna be a little bit more tension placed on one side compared to the other. Once you've done all the reps on each side, you're then gonna go into a Press up position knee tuck. Okay, so you're basically alternating between bringing one knee to the opposing elbow. Don't worry too much about slow and controlled reps here. We're really just blasting through them. So I'd recommend anywhere between 18 to 20 reps. So 10 on each side. And just make sure you don't hold your breath when you're doing that. Make sure you breathe every now and then. Then we're gonna go on to heel touches. Now, it doesn't look like anything too strenuous, but believe me, it's actually quite challenging. What you're gonna do is you are gonna elevate your torso ever so slightly off the ground, so your lower back is still in contact, and you're just gonna alternate side to side by tapping your heels. Remember to breathe again with this one, but you should feel the burn on your obliques and your abs as you do this. Then we're gonna finish off with a plank. Now, planks for some are challenging, for others not so challenging. So to make a plank really challenging, what I want you to do is to almost contract every single muscle in your body. Finished. 